Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Kit and today is Sunday, November 15th, 2020. Thank you guys for joining me today. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and staying safe. I have just noticed that I have reached 6,000 subscribers. So what I'm gonna do at the end of this video is have a little giveaway, so stay tuned for that. I'll explain the rules and everything towards the end of the video. But I have a happy mail. I have some acquisitions, some finished objects, and some new works in progress that I want to share with you guys today. So let's start off with the happy mail. So I have a viewer or a Yarny friend. Her name is Deirdre. So if I pronounce your name wrong, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But she sent me this beautiful card, handmade card, and it is stamped. And that's her name. So if... Um, you can tell me how to pronounce your name. I'd appreciate that too, because I'm not good at pronouncing names. But I'm not going to read the uh, note inside, but this is just a gorgeous card, and I had to share that with you guys, and it's handmade. Um, she sent me three skeins of yarn that I wanted more of when I went on my uh, Hobby Lobby uh, shopping trip for the clearance yarn, and it is the Yarn B Soft and Sleek in the colorway blushy so she had three of these that she sent me and i really do appreciate that because i love this colorway it's just gorgeous and um i will email you later tonight and see about payment options um if you want me to pay you um if not i can send you some yarn if not i can send you a project bag so let me know what you want and we'll figure it out later so thank you so much deirdre i really do appreciate it and i love the yarn so that was my little happy mail. And let me set the yarn aside. And then I placed an order on Lion Brand. So I have my Lion Brand order here. And then I went to Dollar Tree. And guess what I found at Dollar Tree? I found some yarn. And in the town that I live in, there are three Dollar Trees about 10 minutes away from me in each direction. So I went to the one that was bigger and they actually had yarn there. So I'll show you what I got. And then I went to Hobby Lobby um, earlier this week. I went to Hobby Lobby or last week. I think it might've been Friday night when I got home from work, I stopped at Hobby Lobby. I had to buy some yarn that I'm sending to someone. And then also um, I bought some knitting needles that I wanna show you, but that was it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I was just looking, browsing through, seeing if they had any anything on clearance. And there were a lot of shoppers there that were buying Christmas uh, decor. So I didn't wanna stay in Hobby Lobby too long, but I did browse the yarn section and nothing really caught my eye. So let's get started with the Lion Brand yarn haul so lion brand had a sale sometime last week um they've been having a lot of great sales lately like four for ten dollars and there was one in particular that i had to get because it was such a good deal and i'll show you it is the lion brand ice cream big scoop these were four skeins for ten dollars and i had to jump on it because um first of all this is a giant skein of yarn if you're not familiar with Lion Brand Big Scoops, I will tell you a little bit about it. It is, this is a 10 ounce skein with 284 grams, 1,117 yards or 1,022 meters. It's 100% acrylic and it's a lightweight three. So with over a thousand yards and these were four for 10, I had to stock up on some. So I bought a couple of these. So I bought two in this colorway, which is cotton candy. So I have two of those. And then I bought two in this colorway, which is called Superman. So I have two of those. And then the last one I bought is in this colorway called Cherry's Jubilee, which is my favorite because I bought four of these. And for the yardage, four for 10 is an excellent price. So I bought eight skeins total and I didn't spend that much at Lion Brand. So that was my little Lion Brand haul. And it took them about seven days to process and ship my order. And then once they shipped it, it came to my house within three to four days. So it was pretty uh, fast shipping once it got shipped but um it took them a little longer to process the order which is fine i'm in no hurry to um get this yarn but it was just a great deal i could not pass it up so that was my little lion brand yarn haul 
and then during the week sometime last week i stopped at my local dollar tree now there's a dollar tree like five minutes from me and it's a smaller store and the last time i went they did not have any yarn there so i went to a different dollar store which is about 10 minutes from me it was on my way home from work that's why i stopped there and i had to get some gift bags so and it was funny because I wasn't looking for the yarn in particular. I was just, you know, going up and down the aisles, seeing what they had. And then I happened across one skein of yarn. So I thought to myself, if they have one skein of yarn, they have to have more. So I looked around, looked around, maybe for 10 minutes. And finally, I found the section where they had the yarn. And this is what I got. So I got a bunch of the Premier Just Yarn. And I'll show you all the colorways that I got and let me okay so the premier just yarn it's a worsted weight yarn this colorway is called denim and i bought three skeins of bees and this is 131 yards per skein 120 meters um 60 grams 100 percent acrylic medium four weight so i bought three of these And this one is called Crepe, and I bought four of these. Then this color is called Pumpkin, and I bought three of these. This one is called Burgundy, and I bought three of these. And then this one is called Golden, and I bought three of these. And then the last type of yarn I found is Premier Just Cotton, and they only had the two skeins. So I picked up both skeins. And this is a medium four weight yarn. And the color on this one is purple. These are 140 yards, 96 meters, 60 grams, 85% cotton and 15% polyester. So if they were if they were to have more um, of these, I would have gotten more in different colors, but they only had the two skeins of cotton. So I grabbed them both. So next time I go to Dollar Tree, I will check out the section where they had the yarn to see if they have any more. Now they did have um, a lot of these, but I didn't want to take them all. And um, I haven't worked with them before, so I'm not sure how good the yarn will be. So I'll have to work it up and see. But we'll see. It feels like an acrylic yarn and it's not bad. So I will definitely work it up. And if I like it, I will hit Dollar Tree and pick up some more skeins. And um, they're all like fall colors. So I like that. So let me put that aside. And then I went to Hobby Lobby because I had to buy some yarn that I'm going to send to someone. And while I was there, I was browsing the, um, the knitting needles and the crochet hooks. And I picked up a pair of knitting needles. And these are um, new to me. I've never tried them before because I usually I have my Chiagu sets that I love and I'm really hesitant to buy or to try different knitting needles. But I decided to pick this one up and I used my 40% off coupon for this. Actually, that's the cord, which was $2.99. This is the needle, which is $9.99. And I used my coupon for this one. And then I paid full price for the cord, which is $2.99. Um, this is Knitter's Pride Pro. And I already took them out of the package because I just wanted to see what the needles felt like. So these are, let me read the back of this for you. These are laminated birch wood knitting needles. And look at all the colors in there. I think it's just really beautiful. And this is a US size 11 or eight millimeter set. And I, you have to buy the cord separately because these are interchangeable. And the cord, when I took them out of the packaging, um, coiled up on itself. So what I did was I boiled some hot water and then I just dipped the cord in the hot water and then it helped some to um, relieve some of the coiling. So it's not bad right now. I will have to knit something with it and see how smooth these needles are. Right now they're pretty smooth, so I don't know if the yarn will um, glide easily over the needles or not, but I will test them out and I will let you guys know um, how it is next time. But that was a decent price for the needles. 
And like I said, um, the needle tips were $9.99, but I did use my 30% off coupon for that. And then $2.99 for the cord um, was a great deal, I thought. And it came with the stopper and then the little pin to help you screw in the, the needle tips. So that was my purchase at Hobby Lobby. Again, I can't show you the yarns that I bought there because I'm sending it to someone. So that is all I have for acquisitions. So let's get on with the finished objects. So I have two finished objects um, this week. One was a Baby Yoda and I gave the Baby Yoda to the person that requested it. Um, so I will insert a picture right here of that Baby Yoda. My second finished object is Monty the Moose from Zoomegarumi7. And I will show you a picture of Monty. So there is Monty the Moose. And then he has on the little bow around his neck. But I did not make Monty. My daughter wanted a female moose. So now we have Moosey the Moose. So Sage named her Moosey. And I, instead of the bow, I made the little scarf. And then I put a little flower clip on one of her antlers and she turned out great. I really enjoyed this pattern. It was easy to read, it was easy to follow and it worked up fairly quickly. Um, I'm not good at sewing on parts. So like this leg is a little crooked, her antlers crooked and I think this leg is a little twisted, but it's okay. Sage loves her and um, I enjoyed making this project. So, so cute and I will definitely make a couple more from this book and then I have another Zoomegarumi book. I'll check out the patterns and see what I can make from that one. So that is finished object number two. Finished objects, objects number three are some stitch markers that I made. I've tried making stitch markers before in the past and I really didn't enjoy it. Maybe because I was like adding too many beads but these are just simple stitch markers. I bought some charms from Hobby Lobby that were on clearance for some were 49 cents and I think one was 99 cents. But I bought a couple of charms and I just added the lever back clasp to them and then an, a little O-ring, I don't know what you call them. But this is the first one I made, which is a little turtle. And it says on the turtle shell, life is not a race and I love turtles. So I thought I can make that one for myself. And when I saw the charm at Hobby Lobby, I had to get it. I think this one was the one that was 99 cents. And then the second stitch marker I made is this little cactus here with the pink flower. So cute. And on the cactus, it says you can survive anything. So I really like that one. So cute. And then the other two um, were a set, I think. The cactus was 49 cents, I believe. And I think these were 99 cents as well. But these two came in a pack and these are Adams, and which I love science. And on the back of it, I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says, I make up everything. So I thought those were cute, cute little charms and I turned them into stitch markers. So now I can use those. So I thought these Adams were really cute. I'm a science nerd i love science so those that's my finished object number three and you know what i actually enjoyed making stitch markers so next time i hit the craft store i might check out their charms aisle or their jewelry making section and see what other charms they have available because these were simple to make and i love it so that's it for finished objects and by the way my mannequin that i got a couple weeks ago um, in my last video, I had mentioned, um, I needed some ideas for names and I asked my kids and they came up with nothing. Like they're so creative with names, but they came up with nothing. So I asked you guys, you know, what I should name her. And there were some great suggestions, but then I remembered one of my all time favorite shows is Gilmore Girls. And I love watching Gilmore Girls. And I believe I have all the seasons on DVD. But there's a character on there named Babette, and I just love Babette. So my mannequin's name now is Babette. So everyone say hi to Babette. I love that name, and I think it suits her. So uh, Babette is also wearing the sugar plum shawl. I know everybody's been asking about what the shawl pattern is for that. It's the sugar plum shawl, and I 
bought that pattern from Etsy for $6. And I will definitely link that down below if you guys are interested. And I am thinking about making another shawl because she needs something else to wear. She's been wearing that same shawl for a couple videos now. So it's time to change up her shawl. So let's talk about some works in progress. What am I working on? I am still working on the drifter shawl. That's the knitted shawl that I am using, um, the Hobby Lobby hand dyed authentic and then um, a Holly Press Fibers yarn. I am, I have 40 rows left and they're long, 40 rows. So it's gonna be like another week or so before I finish it. Hopefully I'll have it finished by the next time I film. So that way I can show you guys the finish, uh, the finished shawl. But I have some bad news because I wanted to finish that shawl for Thanksgiving. And this year, I think Thanksgiving will just be myself, my husband, and my two girls. Because someone in our family has caught the coronavirus. And there's no way we can have Thanksgiving together as a family. So it's disappointing. The girls are disappointed. I'm disappointed. But um, we have to stay healthy, right? So we can't have Thanksgiving dinner together this year but hopefully everyone is well enough to maybe have a little Christmas get together hopefully um, but yeah I will be cooking Thanksgiving dinner this year so we'll see what happens and yeah the knitted shawl is almost done like I said I have like 40 or 50 more rows to go and I will show you guys that when it's completed I'm still knitting on the Karen anniversary blanket um, the cakes are getting smaller and smaller but there is no way right now I can wind that cake into a ball because it's just a big floppy skein of yarn. So I'm going to keep knitting until I can't knit anymore and then hopefully it doesn't get tangled up on itself. But I will show you guys that when it's done. And then the new project I started is a Tunisian crochet project. I have been looking into Tunisian crochet. I've made a blanket last year, a baby blanket um, with the Tunisian simple stitch. So I thought I'd practice a little bit on my Tunisian crochet. So I decided to just start um, crocheting up a scarf. This is the Tunisian crochet simple stitch. So what I'm doing is I can't remember how many chains I made at the beginning. I think it was like 51 chains. And I'm just doing the Tunisian Simple Stitch. And this is Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. And I can't remember the colorway on that. But I'm doing like a two-tone scarf. So on one side, it's going to be the variegated uh, skein. And then on the other is a solid one. This is in the colorway purple. And this is for my daughter, Madison. That's why it's not that long right now. And then when it's done, I am going to block it. And then I'm going to add pockets. So it will be a pocketed scarf. And I think she'll like it because she um, she picked out the colors. And I like the way it's looking so far. It's gorgeous. I love this yarn. I love working with it. And it's really nice and soft. So it didn't take me long to crochet up the uh, first skein. So I think... By next week, I should have this done. So we'll see. We'll see how busy I am around here. So that is work in progress number two or number three. And then I have some projects that I need to get started sometime this week. I have um, another person that wants another baby Yoda. But this time, instead of the original like brown robe that Yoda wears, he wants like a Santa Yoda. So I'm going to make a little Santa hat for Yoda and then like a Santa robe with, uh, it's going to be like a red robe with like a full fur trimming. So we'll see how that one turns out, but I need to get started on that this week. Um, so that way I'll have it ready by like December, like the second week of December was when that person wanted it. So I need to get started on that soon. And then I also need to uh, make a ladybug Omega Rumi for someone. And I'm not sure um, what pattern I'm going to use or if I'm going to make up one. We'll see what happens with that one. And then my girls want me to make them an Among Us character. So Among Us is a game that they play. And I'm pretty sure you guys have heard all about it. But Rose uh, made an Among Us character for her daughter, Carrots. And she posted a picture on Instagram. And I made the mistake of showing my girls the Among Us character. So now they want me to make them one. So I have to find time to do that. I might whip one up tonight. We'll see what happens. So those are future works in progress that I need to get started on sometime this week. And then my Mary Maxim Knit Club came in. 
so let me show you you guys have probably already seen this but it is a pattern for a knitted blanket so it is this cushy baby blanket pattern and it's a very simple pattern because I already read through it and these are the yarns that I got in my kit so I'm not gonna pull them all out but I got like a uh, six of the white three of the gray and three of the green which i love this green color i think it's gorgeous but my i have a friend who is expecting and she's due in february so i have like two months to make her this blanket um she's gonna keep working until it's time for her to have the baby so she won't go on maternity leave until like february sometime but i want to knit up this blanket i've been looking for a pattern and I couldn't decide on a pattern so I thought that I can knit up this blanket for her for her baby boy that's due in February so I will do that and I know it's a very simple pattern but you have this yarn that's um that's hard to crochet with because I hate crocheting with this type of yarn and but I can knit with it I will not crochet with it but I'll knit with it so I think I might work up that pattern um, I'm not too happy about this month's club, but I'm not disappointed either. Um, it's different, and the pattern's so simple, but you know what? When you have yarn like this, all it needs is a simple pattern. So that's what I'm going to do with my Mary Maxim Knit Club. I'm not um, too happy about it, like I said, but I'm not disappointed either. So it's an okay, okay kit this month, so I will definitely work that up, and then um, once I do, I will show you guys the progress on that and I'll let you know how the yarn knits up. So that was my Mary Maxim. And I don't know what else I have for you guys, but that's all I have for you guys in regards to my finished objects and works in progress. Now, if you guys are ready, let's talk about the giveaway. So let me move my Lion Brand box and then I have a box here that's filled with some yarn and that's the yarn i'm putting in the giveaway so this giveaway will start today november 15th 2020 it is sunday and i don't know what the time is right now but it'll, it'll start like right now and it will end um next sunday so you have one week to enter this giveaway sunday the 22nd at 5 p.m central standard time and this giveaway is approximately 40 dollars in value and you have to be 18 years or older. You have to be a subscriber to my channel, like this video. And in the comments below, do not mention the word giveaway. You can leave any comment that you want. Just don't mention the word giveaway because I do want someone who watches my channel or watches my video all the time to win this box of yarn. So if you guys are ready, let me show you what's in the box. Oh, by the way, this is open worldwide, so anyone can enter, and I will pay to ship it to anyone, anywhere in the country, but I am not affiliated with any yarn company, and I bought all this yarn with my own money. So let's start with the first thing I put in here is um, this cake of yarn. This is Kartopu Matryoshka, and... It doesn't have a colorway name, but the color number is H2162, and this is from Hobium. And this does have wool in it, so if you're allergic to wool, this box might not be for you because there are a few things in here that has wool in it, or that has wool content. And then I have two skeins of the Ice Yarns Magic Light, and it doesn't have a colorway either, but this is a three-weight yarn the matryoshka i don't know if it has a yarn weight on here it does not but i think this might be a fingering weight fingering weight yarn very pretty yarn and then i also have i put in this organza bag the premier or universal yarn bamboo bloom this is yarn that i bought um they had at Premier Yarns, they had the $10 mystery bags. So this came in one of my $10 mystery bags. And I'm not sure what to do with this yarn. So I will be more than happy to give this to someone who knows what to do with this yarn. So there are five, I believe there's five hanks in here. Yes, a total of five hanks in this gorgeous color. I love the colors in there. I'm just not sure what to do with this yarn. And this is 40, 
8% rayon from bamboo, 44% wool, and 8% acrylic. And then I also have two of these giant skeins of Woolies Thick and Quick. And this is in the colorway charcoal. It is 340 grams with 212 yards. And there's two skeins of that. So that should be enough to make a project like a scarf and a hat possibly. And then I have one skein of Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo. And the colorway on this is burgundy. So Christmas is coming up. Somebody might need this yarn for a Christmas project. So that's what I have in my giveaway. So if you guys are interested, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below, but just do not mention the word giveaway because I want someone who watches um, all the time to be a winner. So again, the giveaway will start today right now and it will end Sunday, November 22nd, which is next Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So after 5 p.m., I will upload a video and announce who the winner is. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys all in the next one. So have a great weekend and stay safe out there. Bye.